Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with IREC Veteran 88. That's right. Uh, by the appearance of the lab coat that I'm wearing, we have to be doing a meltdown. You're correct. We are. Uh, we are revisiting Faxon. Okay. You guys remember the first meltdown that we ever did. Uh, we did on one of their stainless steel uh, fluted barrels and uh, we had some pretty interesting things happen in that video, but it actually went a pretty dang decent amount of rounds in that particular video. And that was the first meltdown that we ever did was on a fax and barrel. And we had no idea what we were doing. We just thought, hey, this would seem like a pretty cool thing to do. And yeah, it kind of set forth a uh, series of events that obviously has uh, led us to here. All right, so we're gonna be checking out a nine millimeter from fax and this is a 4150 uh, barrel. It's a 10 inch barrel, half by 28 uh, threaded, nitride coating. This is their M-Lock rail system. And this is an upper that Faxon offers as a complete unit. Uh, so we're gonna be running on a machine gun lower. We're gonna see if we can kill a nine millimeter. Now, this is the first video of this type that we've ever done. So again, just like Faxon did in initially, they're setting the baseline uh, for what we're gonna see uh, to be the potential for how long a pistol caliber carbine can go. Uh, they set the benchmark for the 5.56. Now they're gonna set the benchmark for the nine millimeter. We've already killed a Glock 18 and it took quite a few rounds to kill that gun. So we've, we've shown in the past that nine millimeter doesn't really generate as much heat as you would think. So it's not the heat that really destroys the gun. Although we did melt the guide rod on the Glock. So I'm really curious to see what will stop this gun, if it will stop. So, you know, we got a whole bunch of nine mil ammo. We've got a nine millimeter carbine. Let's uh, get behind it and see what we can do. See how many rounds it takes to kill it. We're gonna run a combination of different ammo. First, we're gonna start out with some 124 grain Winchester white box. We've got some 124 grain Aguila FMJ, and we're running all factory Glock magazines today. Let's do it. You guys watch this. And we don't have a last round bolt hold open, guys, so we just have to be methodical here. This is the really expensive way to make a pile of brass, guys. <laughs> I promise, guys, that I am trying to cut that barrel in half. We're going to get there, don't worry. Yeah, buddy. She's running. Like an evil woodpecker. <laughs> that poor barrel, I don't know <laughs> how much longer it's gonna go. Not the gun barrel, but the barrel downrange. It's teetering uh, precariously. <laughs> At this point, I bet people were wondering which one's gonna go first. All right, what happened? That uh, was user error.
Yeah, buddy. That barrel is gonna get cut in half before this video's over, I promise. Okay, that was the last magazine of the Winchester. Now we're shooting a Gila. She's getting a little bit dirty. Yeah, I can feel the bolt maybe just getting a little bit sluggish. That barrel's trying to go. I'm gonna get it cut in half eventually. Well, she's running, boys. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Guys, we might need some more magazines. I need more mags, guys. <laughs> guys, man, does this thing ever stop? we go that freaking barrel come on guys getting low on mags here oh yeah okay now that was 115 grain ammo that's definitely running faster <laughs> uh yeah she's running guys got some mags Wow, this is a, a first. Yeah, not bringing enough ammo to a meltdown. Yeah, buddy. Keep them coming. I think I have uh, literally every Glock magazine in Georgia out here. <laughs> uh, she's running. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Man. <laughs> we got mad. <laughs> That's a sad day, guys. A sad day when we don't bring enough uh, mags to kill a uh, to kill a gun. Yeah, buddy, she's getting down. There's a mag loader on the table right there. <laughs> We're running so much ammo here. <laughs> We're going to run until we run out of ammo.
I, you know, I just don't know if we're going to be able to get this thing hot enough to kill it. <laughs> this is a first. I mean, how, how many is that so far? About 1,200 that we've gone through? Yep. What is this sorcery? Woo! Well, guys, crack open some popcorn and some coffee. It's going to be a minute. It's okay. I got all the time in the world. Takes so long to load. Only a split second unload though. Man, that 115 is fast, buddy. We're getting her hot. I mean, I could feel the heat coming down the magwell and everything. That, that is warm, guys. Very warm. Highly scientific explanation. <clears throat> I mean, we haven't even we haven't even melted the rubber uh, grip off there yet, or nothing. You know, I, I'm just not sure that you can get a nine millimeter hot enough to hurt it unless a part fails that's made out of polymer. That was the only thing that stopped the Glock. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. There's your mag. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> mag fairy. <laughs> See, what you guys don't realize is I've got some Oompa Loompas back there. Load magazines for me. <laughs> We's loading. Come on now. <laughs> I need them magazines. We's got your clippazines. That's right, I know you do. So I got Chad back there. I got Dust Crouch back there. Come on guys. This ain't helping my girlish figure being in all this hot clothing. Actually, it is. I'm probably losing weight sweating. It's like your own personal sauna. Oh, it's a sauna. I'm making a sauna inside of this firearm right now. Yeah, buddy. Man. Well, here's the thing, guys. We're going to know next time to bring more magazines. <laughs> I, I mean, you're not going to kill this thing. You know, we have to figure out how much all this ammo would weigh if you had to carry it on your person. You couldn't carry all this ammunition. <laughs> this gun is just like whatever. This, thing, this this girl's hungry. Am I hitting you? <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting people with magazines back here.
Yeah, she's getting a little sluggish, guys. But, you know, honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to kill it. It's either going to get too dirty before it stops running. I don't think the barrel's going to fail. The bolt's not going to fail. It's just a blowback. I just don't think we can get it hot enough to hurt it. I mean, unless a firing pin goes or an extractor, I just don't think you're going to get it hot enough. Hey, this is kind of like rain day at Costco. Oh, is it really? <laughs> Are we running out of ammo? Yep. Well, give me all you got. Yep. That bolt was a little sluggish. But when she runs, she runs, boys. And girls. Yep. Getting a little sluggish. Okay, uh, yeah, she's getting a little sluggish. Here, let's try, see if it'll run that way. I think it's just getting dirty, guys. Yep. <laughs> yep. So it's getting to the point now where it's uh it's not wanting to pick up that top round very well, but once the round chambers, she appears to be running. I'm getting my dang workout today. <clears throat> oh boy, that is hot. Oh boy. Barrel looks fine. There's no brass shavings or any random crap in the action. The ejector looks good, extractor looks good. Firing pin is obviously working. No screws are coming loose. The brake is still on there, not coming loose. Or flash hider. We learned our lesson on this, guys. I'm going to have to pony up on some more magazines. Our poor barrel down there is uh, looking a little worse for wear. I mean, this thing is eight, three different brands of ammo. Are y'all loading the UMC right now? What is that? CCI. CCI, what grain? What grain? 115. So it's eight, two brands of 115 FMJ, two brands of 124 FMJ. I think uh, at this point, if it says 9mm on it, it's going to eat it. I know one thing. I'm getting my workout today. And so was all, all the guys loading mags. Bring them on, boys. Woo! Oh, but all y'all do is shoot guns all the time. That's all y'all do. Not all the time. Woo! Now look guys, I have to be honest. I'm kind of at the point right now. I wish this thing would just die. <laughs> I lied. I want it to keep going. Yeah, she's getting a little, little sluggish. Hmm. 
man, that uh, that CCI ammo is kind of dirty. It's real gassy. <laughs> I wish there's a camera back here showing what's going on behind behind the scenes here, because it's pretty funny. Man, she's uh, she's getting warm here. You know, and everybody wants to talk a whole bunch of garbage about nine millimeters. I mean, this sucker has been reliable. I think she's going to need a spa day after this. Heck, I might need a spa day. I'm going to come out of this suit smelling like an armpit. Oh, in the name of science. <clears throat> she's running. Just so you know, it's probably about time for y'all to freshen your coffee. You enjoy that coffee. Right now, I'd like a nice, ice cold sweet tea. I need to, <laughs> I need, I need to put a straw on this thing so I can drink tea in it. Son, what do y'all make this thing thing out of? I think this would be my Mars gun. Like if I had to be one of the first astronauts to go to Mars and I could only take one gun, I would take this. I mean, how much ammo do we have left? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think it's safe to say next time we need to plan to have about three times as many magazines. Have we exceeded the round count on the Glock? Oh yeah. Long we have, ago. long time ago. Son, slow down, girl. Easy, girl. Whoa! I think I've come to a conclusion, guys. I think they're screwing with me and they made this thing out of a meteorite or something. I, I don't know. Something. She's running. <laughs> I'll take reliable for for 100, Alex. Woo! <laughs> Trebek? <laughs> Trebek? The penis mightier. <laughs> Money, Pony, I need more ammunition. <laughs> Such a bad... If Sean Connery's watching this, he's shaking his head. 
And that's okay though. It probably takes a lot more to, to please Sean Connery than watching this. It's probably old hat to him. All right now. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Let's go. Oh, okay, something went. Uh, double feed? Huh. That was the first actual double feed that we've had the entire time. I'm going to chalk that up to this thing being dirty. Double feed. That was a double feed again. Yeah, we are experiencing a higher than normal volume of stoppages. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, boys and girls. I'm going to tell you something right now. This round count is going to be a doozy. Could somebody possibly uh, get a straw down the front of this mask so I could drink some water? Woo! Whew. How we looking on ammo, guys? Man, talk about spinning your wheels. We're spinning wheels here. What are we doing? See, what we'll do if we can't kill this thing, we'll let it cool down and we'll shoot it semi-auto and group it and see what kind of a 50-yard group it shoots. I think the world might run out of ammo. Woo! This isn't the meltdown I planned. You're a good lad. We're gonna take a brief intermission. <laughs> Cause you know us Southerners will die without sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, that's how Jerry Mitchell is so fast, by the way, is because he drinks so much sweet tea.
This is the uh, meltdown video that's melting me down. I'm not saying I don't need to lose some weight. This is definitely a clever way to lose it. Woo! Ah. These are a few of my favorite things. Don't laugh at me. Guys, safe to say she's not going to die, but you know what? We're not going to quit. How are we looking on ammo? Are we about to shoot up everything we brought? <laughs> I think I brought like 2,500 rounds or more. <laughs> it's getting crazy, isn't it, guys? <sighs> That's bad when I have to take a break. I'm pretty sure that's going to be an internet meme somewhere of me drinking tea under the mask. Da, da, da. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> Man, she's running. Now look. If you could carry all that ammunition, good on you. Yeah, that's a lot of magazines. We've gone through at least 100 mags. <laughs> How close are we to being out of ammo, guys? Maybe a few hundred rounds? Oh, 3,000 more, joy. So hard to load, yet so fast to get rid of. I'm about to take a bandsaw and cut this thing in half. It's not going to die. Oh, melt down the gun, they said. Oh, it won't last very long, they said. Ah, joy. Love it. You're hot. I guess it's one of those deals we got to be careful what you ask for. Oh, more mags. The hills are alive. <laughs> the sound of machine guns. Machine guns. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what they were thinking. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
You know what I'm thinking? I want to know how many rounds it's going to take to kill an MP5. Woo! That's going to be an interesting one. The thing is, guys, I mean, what can go wrong? It's a blowback, right? Okay, the extractor doesn't break. Firing pin doesn't break. Ejector doesn't break. That's about the only things that could uh, downline this gun because we're not going to be able to get it hot enough at the present rate of fire. At this point, it's just impressive to see how long it'll go. Now, to be fair, guys, a firing pin can break within 200 rounds or it could break within 2,000. A firing pin is a uh, sacrificial part that can totally break at any time. We just haven't broke it yet. But I don't think you can physically get this gun hot enough to hurt it. And the only reason the Glock died is because it was polymer frame, it got hot. Now, if you were to take a metal frame Glock, it might be a different story. I feel like I'm digging a hole to China. We're about out of ammo. <laughs> this is the most Looney Tunes thing I've ever done. I mean, look at that. Uh, uh. Magazine, boy. <laughs> Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today <laughs> we definitely underestimated the amount of magazines we would need for this it's a good problem to have though People are going to look at the length of this video when they pull it up on YouTube and they're going to be like, what the heck? We've been at this about an hour. <laughs> All right. This sucker is getting hot. Yeah. Not hot enough though. It's not even melting the foregrip. Which I figured that would be one of the first things to go and then the, uh, the rail covers are not melting yet. I never thought that I would be behind a machine gun and feel like I'm watching grass grow. That's a good problem to have, isn't it? There's nothing boring about this. Woo!
All right, Gun, me and you guys have a talk. We need to come to a compromise here. I get it, okay? I understand, you're tough. Can we just fail, please? <laughs> We're gonna continue. Well then, well, lesson one, bring more magazines. Whew. Now to be fair, she is uh, running just a little bit sluggish in terms of the bolt slamming. Other than that, she's chugging right along guys. Good grief! We need to change the name of this video to The Human Meltdown, because that's what it feels like. Ah! Look at that! They threw the mag up here and it came apart. The magazine came apart before the gun did. If that's any indication. <laughs> that Glock mag, mag, it was like, no, not again. <laughs> Woo. While well, we're waiting on more mags, any of you guys ever been involved in mop gear training? You know what mop gear is? Look it up. That's what this feels like. Tell you what, let's try it one-handed. Yeah, see, you gotta hold on to them to get them to run. You know, I think there is certainly some factor going on here that obviously because we're not running mag after mag after mag, we're just physically not going to be able to get the gun hot enough. So I think this gun would pretty much keep running indefinitely until we run out of ammunition.
I'm going to name her Misha. She's running. We may have to run dang shifts on this. Well, this is the longest that a meltdown's ever gone, period. 5,000 rounds? You're kidding, right? Around there. Jeez. That's it. This is it? Is that all the ammo we brought? All right, guys, we're calling it. That was interesting, to say the least. It ended up going uh, just over 5,000 rounds. Uh, I think the official round count, what was it, Chad, like 50-51 or something? Something like that. 5,000 rounds of 9 millimeter, full auto. And, uh, I mean, she's dirty, very, very dirty, dirty girl but it cooled down enough where we can, we can kind of play with a little bit. So here's our bolt carrier group. I mean, it's dirty, but it's functional. Rifling looks good. I wouldn't say any real wear, maybe a bit of wear, but I mean, there's a little bit of kind of frosting in the grooves of the rifling, but really not that bad. And I think what we're gonna do, guys, I know this has been a long video, but look, I'm telling you right now, people can, can take a crap on pistol caliber carbines all they want, but they do have their place. And a dedicated platform, not a conversion. Um, you know, man, if you're looking for longevity, I would say you definitely achieved it in a nine millimeter carbine and blowback. I mean, so this is a very interesting data point for us because it shows us just how long a pistol caliber carbine can run. Now, granted, one caveat, we didn't bring enough magazines to run it straight through like a meltdown typically goes. So that does change things a little bit. Um, we need to bring more magazines next time uh, so we can put a continuous amount of fire uh, through one of these uh, guns to see if we can generate enough heat to hurt it. Uh, the only thing that really would have downed this, judging by the, the minimal amount of wear on the throat and lead of the barrel and the rifling of the barrel, is really either the extractor, ejector, or firing pin failing. It's about the only thing that's gonna stop the system from working. The blowback is very reliable. The bolts seem to be just fine. Uh, I don't see any major wear. I mean, it's dirty as all heck, but I'll tell you what, I know this is, uh, has been kind of a, a long video, but I think we should uh, put the gun back together, shoot it on semi-auto uh, with the optic, and let's just see how the gun groups after all those rounds. Uh, you know, let's just shoot just for, for my sanity, let's just shoot 10 on a plate and see how they group from about 25 or 30 yards away, just to see if there's been any loss in accuracy after that. Because that's really the only thing that we have to consider at this point is, has accuracy suffered? I mean, the, the firearm obviously works and it's not getting hot enough to fail. So has something else failed? Has our accuracy uh, gone down? I mean, look at all this, look at all this uh, ammo skeletons laying around, okay? 
uh, we ran over 5,000 rounds of ammo. We ran all the ammo we brought. I'm gonna have to go like look in my in my mags in my car and get my carry ammo to do this test right now. So I know it's been a long video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, you know, we really, really love doing these types of videos. We hope that you enjoy this content. Uh, I want to say a special thanks to all of our guys on Patreon that support us and gals uh, that support us on Patreon. You guys are wonderful. Thank you very much. All the folks that purchase man cans to help support our efforts. You guys are great. Thank you all very much for your support. And uh, I'm going to put this gun back together. Let's lob a few rounds on a plate and just see uh, if we get any weird keyholing or odd accuracy or anything. Let's give it a try.